The value of Bitcoin crashed in less than six hours Wednesday, sparking fears the servers that exchanged the newly popular currency were victim to a hacker attack. The virtual currency's value dropped from $265 to $105 due to a panic sell-off. But Bitcoin exchange site Mt. Gox posted a Facebook message saying Bitcoin was a victim of its own success and not a hack attack. They also tried to keep users calm by saying, Nearly 20,000 new accounts join Bitcoin each day and the total number of accounts rose from 60,000 in March to 75,000 in April. The BBC reports the vast increase in interest in Bitcoins is also creating problems for some established members of the digital cash community. Many individuals have pooled their computer power to ensure the mathematical network that creates bitcoins is completed more quickly. And while Mt. Gox didn't experience a digital attack, TechCrunch says the site shouldn't lower its guard. It can expect to be a target for hackers for the foreseeable future, which is another reason it needs to beef up its infrastructure. But will a hack attack target a hacker's product? CNN Money reminds investors bitcoins were originally mined by an anonymous Anonymous hacker four years ago, although they recently gained mainstream attention. PC World points out some aspects of bitcoins. The virtual coin is very volatile. The value of a single bitcoin was only $15 in January. Bitcoin transactions are irreversible, and bitcoins can't be spent at every major retailer. The debate around Bitcoin's real value raged Wednesday as the currency plunged 60%. Business Insider contributor David Seaman says the massive sell-off was sparked by the vast difference between investors within the BTC community. There's true believers and then speculators. It was the speculators that rapidly sold off their Bitcoins when its value started to fall. So was the quick rise and fall of the Bitcoin just a giant bubble? Forbes contributor Timothy B. Lee says we can't know for sure. He stated the BTC economy can't be properly analyzed yet because of its infancy and that we'll know when we see how people use Bitcoin in the coming decade. A correspondent for the Daily Beast reports the key weakness of Bitcoins is its lack of liquidity. She says the more successful Bitcoins are, the more likely it is the rich world governments will swoop in and make it prohibitively difficult to use Bitcoins to procure real world goods in developed countries. Today, the virtual coin's value has climbed back up to $162, but baby Bitcoin needs to be careful. As Mashable reports, nothing scares off investors like a panic sale. Meanwhile, a new rival is facing Bitcoin after yesterday's buzz. Its name is Ripple and its system is the same one BTC has, but with one vital difference. People can send and receive money in other currencies, not just Ripples, and that includes Bitcoins. For Newsy, I'm Katie Brennan, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.